Yes, uh, good evening, radio enthusiasts. And this is a short review of the uh, portable radio Geneva Touring S Plus FM DAB Plus Bluetooth speaker in red. I really like this uh, design, the retro 60s or 70s design that looks like a photo camera from that time with the aluminum top and the leather uh, leather bottom. Um, it's a quite solid build. It weighs about one kilo, but it's not too much. So you can also easy to, uh, take it with you around uh, to the park or on a trip. And uh, it has a very good sound. Uh, compared to its predecessor, the uh, Touring S, it has a passive radiator on the back that improves the sound very much. And uh, it's also it's also got the line in here and the charging for the USB charging for the battery uh, and I really like the minimalistic design with only five buttons and uh, one big uh, button for a rotary dial for the volume and also for on off right on off and um, yeah um, you can also switch to FM FM sounds also very good What I like more in FM is that the uh, display is not moving. It just shows the station name and that's it. When you switch to DAB Plus, uh, it will show first the station name, but then it will go into uh, scrolling mode and uh, you can't change that. So like it's showing what it is playing, uh, which station it is, where it is, what time it is. So it's always moving uh, from left to right um, and that can be a little annoying uh, in the dark. And on the other hand, this is uh, <laughs> the display is really cool, but when you are out in the sunlight, it's barely not readable. But well, uh, usually you use it indoors and if you are outdoors, uh, well, you have to put it in the shadows and then you read it until you um, <clears throat> tuned into the right station. Um, the radio is available in four colors. This is the red one and uh, here are the other colors white, cognac, red and black. I think the I like the cognac most, but it was sold out. I didn't find it anywhere. What also looks cool is the black one, uh, because then the top is, uh, this is not aluminum, but black, as you can see. Yeah, that looks also like a camera when the camera is all in black. But I think the, I, uh, the more retro look is the one with the aluminum top. Yeah, it says uh, up to 20 hours of uh, playback. That is not really true. I would say it's more or less 10 or 15 hours. I haven't stopped the time yet, but well, I think that is more realistic. It says up to 20 hours. Well, maybe if you really turn down the volume uh, and just listen to radio, that can be true. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's got six FM, six DAB plus presets, Bluetooth, 
uh, and also an aux in. This is the black version in a bigger photo. Yeah, it also looks nice, but I think I like the red and the cognac version more. And it says extremely deep bass radiator. That's true. And uh, most powerful over 100 dB output. It really goes loud. That's that's for sure. But then <laughs> the battery drains quite fast. So it's really nice radio. I can recommend it. It's not really cheap. It's about 230 euros in the retail price. But you can get it cheaper for about 180, 190, depending on the color and depending on the retailer. Yeah, that'll be it. Uh, I'll turn on the volume a little bit more just to show you the, the really nice sound. In the instruction manual they say you should uh, put it in a corner for the best uh, sound experience and uh, move it 30 centimeters away from a wall to let the bass reflect best. And it's also good to have it on the same height as, as you are listening. So don't put it low or up or maybe it's the best when you, you have the best stereo experience when you have it on the same height as your ears are. Yeah, that'll be it. Have a nice evening, have a nice day, and keep on listening to music. Bye-bye.